All right, I'm back. I had to stir up, beat up some eggs. I went Randy Couture Tito Ortiz one on those eggs and it paid off. When you see them, you'll be blown away. Added a little bit of heavy milk to it. It was on sale because it only had a few days left before it died. All right, so meat. Um, it's important where you get your meat, especially in the U.S. or U.K. maybe. They're putting MNRA crap, or that's the plan, in our meat, in our food system. I didn't get the shot. I didn't want the shot. I don't believe in it. I think it's evil. I think it's Hegelian dialectic. That's technocracy. They want to turn us into endpoint devices on their network of shitty life and make us think that it's awesome. And whoever they are, I don't know, they're possessed. Doesn't matter. They're shadow projections in my world. And I'm not feeding into it. This sum just basically reinforces my intuitive pull to break away from society, establish new culture, so old that it's new. Communion with real life, nature, back to the land. All right, so here's the eggs. I don't know, there's some weird shit in here, but I think it's okay. Look at this. It's all in the technique. I don't even think Chef Gordon Ramsay could have done it any better. The angelic troll man can only watch in dismay. Now that baby's going in the uh, oven. I better record that part so you can see that I'm not faking the funk here. Three fifty. We're gonna go uh, seventeen minutes. In honor of Kip Winger, of Winger fame. All right. So I'm into a lot of things. I am um, very contrarian. I'm in constant rebellion of the self. That's why people... Um, well, one reason some people are triggered, because a lot of people are looking to understand their own gravity. That's life, you know. When you're in relation to the world, you have to stand in something. And if you can't go into yourself, you got to figure out what it is in relation to the world or other people. So when you got someone like me who's always changing, it's uh, a little bit hard. So thank God for my Gemini moon. I can keep things light if I want. Now spirituality, spirit and form. In many ways, I'm just going to use the language of what I've learned. As limited or expansive as that might be, it's up to you, I guess. Some people are trying to get away. They're trying to escape the wheel of samsara. They want to escape the hell, the prison, life. They don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over. Some people, they give themselves to an oath. They want to stay here and help others. You know, like the Buddhist thing. They will not liberate until all beings are liberated. Then you got people like me. There's probably more types of sub-genres, but I'm here to bring spirit to form. I'm here to actualize and be. I believe in a life theosis, but I don't believe that there's a grading system involved.
There is no hierarchy. There is no old soul, no young soul, but there are expressions of old and young. There can be one soul because <laughs> all things are here. All things are possible. There's no such thing as non-existence. So if you think about that for a moment, if there was non-existence, none of this would be here. But it's here. There is only existence. And from that, it's not a nihilistic, it's not a um, fatalistic um, one-word answer to explain all everything we feel, go through, and can conceive. It's, um, it's a concept to me, it's an idea that it's the closest thing we can come to the ineffable, that which we cannot name. That's a gift, that's belief, that's magic, that's beyond words, beyond description. And so with that, all potentials are possible. And if I'm here now and I'm bringing spirit to form today, doesn't mean that I can't choose another way another day. I can't accept another person's perspective. Of course I can. Belief is about awareness. Some people are so anchored into these truths of reality, of existence, of consciousness, of metaphysics, of spirituality, that they limit themselves from understanding the true potential of belief. And they cast it down because they are unwilling to let go of their own gravity they don't think they could be without something. And then you don't think about that you can never be without something. You're always in relation at least to your awareness, the self. So in these times, um, micro to macro, inward, outward, local, and then expand it. Try and shop local, try and um, eat local, try and support local. And it starts in your home, cleaning up and things. I'm having a hard time um, kicking coffee. I love it. But it doesn't love me. <laughs> I get so many tension headaches, but it's it's not just the coffee, it's other things. When I get tension headaches when my body is acting up, when I get uh, feeling down, I know there's a um, distinct relation to something I'm doing, a way I'm being. I don't see victims in this world. I don't see victimization. I see awareness. And it wasn't always that way. And it doesn't mean that I'm pious or some yogi or whatever. It's just that's what I have come to understand for myself. And it may change tomorrow. Maybe I'll go back the other way. Who knows? But when I, um, I'm down and all these things, it's my um, blessing that's the curse. That Saturn won't let me off the hook. I always have to keep moving, keep learning, keep growing, 
keep changing. And it suits my nature anyway. When I get stagnant, I become complacent, I lose joy. I lose myself, I guess, into something. But we go through those static hazes and we break out and it just, um, it becomes some kind of weird, mad tango with life. I want to show that you don't have to be anything in particular. You just have to try and find out what being is to you and uh, up or change the perspective, the shade. I've got a lot of songs, but I got to work on my singing because I don't know how to sing. I've got a lot of stories and I've got a lot of um, ideas for art, manga, cartoons, comics, things like that. But without any um, desire, spirit to do things, there is no life. I've got a lot of ideas for what I want to do in this world. But to get there, I've got to go through other things first. It helps me forget where I'm going so that I'm not trying to control it, I guess, in a way. When you um, have that kind of awareness or a sense, delusion, whatever you want to call it, then you aren't limited. You can forgive past discretions, past mistakes in yourself and in others. You can see the rhythm, the melody of the song, and you can start to fill in or change those melodies, those rhythms. You can layer something else on top of it, create something completely new as well. When we shed things, what was valuable, what was actually a catalyst for us remains, and that's what um, becomes your gravity. It's the expression of your spirit. A lot of people can see that, but it's hard to see it yourself, you know. Until you can see it yourself, know it, feel it yourself, your um you're lost unless you're following the heart. That's the truest expression. And that's um, why in these times we should try and be creative and do what feels right to us, inspires us, uh, feeds us, feeds our spirit. And you may not feel like you got that fire, that spark or whatever right now. Well, that's when you're in that chop wood, carry water mode. I've been there a long time. I don't like it. That's when you're consciously battling the world around you, but you're also battling yourself. You're trying to overcome yourself because that's the only way you can get through whatever all that is out there and get out of it. So um, what seems like a curse becomes a blessing with time as you mature and cultivate things that you would have never had an opportunity to do had it not been for the trials or the roadblocks or whatever you're going through. Just keep that in mind because it doesn't rain every day. And without the rain, nothing grows. So uh, all right. that's all I had to say. Thanks for watching listening being all that well it's been 13 minutes now i didn't put enough egg on it's just settling in but i guess that's fine 
All right. See ya.